This conference will now be recorded. It's 8 30. You understand from that pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everybody. It's Tuesday, January 16th. Uh, we met your county courthouse for our weekly meeting. And it's a cool one, at least uh, mosquitoes and ladybugs should be slowed down a little bit. Uh, we have a agenda in front of us. We have a motion for corrections or additions. So I don't know if I place So number eight, like that was mine, but that no longer needs to be on there. They're not ready yet to nominate anybody. Number eight? Yeah. But seven's okay? Yep. Okay. Perfect. Eliminate number eight. Anything else needs changed? So the motion to approve the agenda as revised. So moved as revised. Motion is there a second. I'll say that. Motion second. Any discussion? Hearing none. Uh, all in favor say aye. 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 Hi. Don't have anything specific today. I set out some information from yesterday or last night, uh, kind of updating lots of things. Other than that, I uh, guess I don't really have anything uh, uh, specific uh, to talk about. Uh, Questions? All right. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sure. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. I have December fees for you this morning in the amount of $2,649.90. We have a motion to approve the sheriff's report. I'll move to make that motion. Motion. Second? I'll second that. Motion. Second. Any discussion? Sheriff's report. Roll call, Jim. Aye. Cindy. Aye. 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 Uh, two other quick things. Uh, the Tahoe that hit the deer all in November is now fixed and back on the road. So that one's up around. We got one to go, and that'll go in next week. Uh, secondly, the soft body armor ballistic vest that the deputies wear, there's a shelf life on those, and it's five years. Um, they're not all needing to be replaced at the same time, but five of the uh, 10 that we have need to be replaced, and that's gonna cost about $600 a vest. Um, I have the money, it's in the budget, so we're gonna go ahead and, and get the, um, well in this case, it's all, all guys, 
um, uh, measured, fitted for the new ballistic vests and carriers. Um, so that you'll see that bill of around three thousand um, dollars come across at some point. I'm not sure exactly when we'll get billed for those. Uh, they haven't even been measured yet, but we'll make that um, call and get that done. And then when the other ones uh, cycle in, we'll replace those too. But I'm in need of five of them now, and and so we're going to go ahead and, and get that done. So you'll see that bill at some point. Okay. That's all I have. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Department head discussion. I know Thursday there's a safety meeting that Judy from Hardman Insurance is going to happen with all the department heads down here at the courthouse at 10 o'clock. That works for everybody. Oh, yeah. is this Thursday, Mark? Yeah. Coming up. Okay. Mark, Mark, could you repeat that? It was kind of hard to hear. Sure. Uh, Judy from Harlan Insurance is standing by and having a safety meeting with all the department heads Thursday, 10 o'clock, here in the basement. Um, an interesting event this last week. It's good that we didn't get to see that we didn't um, we didn't uh, get through that one stage that we didn't have some equipment get damaged. Um, right now we've got one more that hasn't been so far that we have a point of damage on the ground, the ground the shoulder the billboard caught and we have to circle and try to fix it before we have to replace it. Uh, it's it's a lot of stuff. And it's bad, there's all kinds of gears and teeth in the world so we can be repaired. We also um, we have an existing truck that had either just got old and the current ones that had was leaking in the lava side that we probably just broke down and so we put a complete engine on it. So we want to continue to, to operate but right now the truck is down. I did get an email this morning from the dealership in Minnesota that has brand new can you match on the lot they're selling it at? Inquiring about what pricing is and what their exact specs are because it has an organization that yeah. if it's something that we can use in the fleet and we're talking about buying trucks anyway in the near future, we're trying to order some. And uh, ordering the truck is probably anywhere from a year to a year and a half out. Um, the trucks that have all the lot of Western Stars, uh, basically, they're popped up front and they have the Cummins engines in there and still has two boxes, all the external equipment. I'm just curious about the prices on that after we went through building and everything else. So I inquired about it and I said we buy anything at this point. I know where we're at. Yes. So we got to keep rotating the program through. So just got an inquiry out there for that. Other than that, I don't have much to talk about. The guys have been working all weekend pushing snow. Thank you. Thank you. Approved representative nominated by the city development corporation to be in CBDC. So, um, Ralph Waters has been nominated by the Osage Development Corporation to sit on our MCEDC board. And um, Michelle Russell was the previous person that sat on the board for the whole CD. Um, and so, you guys have final approval on that if you're in 2020. So, I'm just looking for you guys' approval today. Thank you. 
Cassettes in there that do the heating and cooling, and this isolates the two so that they, uh, what's called the DOS unit that feeds these, so that the DOS unit can either provide heating to one side and cooling to the other side, and there'll be two different thermostats in there for that. So let's see, let's change order request number seven. That's for $2,890. Yeah. You want to uh, you want to put these both together? Same thing. You can I guess. Okay. So number change order request eight has to do with the uh, light pictures in the stairway and uh, the amount that you see there, two thousand five hundred forty-two dollars, is not correct. They I questioned the bond that they were charging us, and they were wrong on the bond. The bond. Rather than seventy-four dollars for bond, it's thirty-seven dollars. So the corrected amount for change order request eight is two thousand five hundred and five dollars. Uh, and before I, I'm not going to sign. If the board approves these, I'm not going to sign this one. I told them I needed a new, a new form that's corrected to sign. But, but that is the dollar amount, two thousand five hundred five. Uh, motion accept both change orders. Move to move to approve. I'll second motion. Second. Any discussion? Yeah. Did you uh, um, did you want that in your motion that you were not signing unless it's changed? Or? Um. I guess I'm just. A, I guess my motion was for the dollar amounts, okay. and then. Uh, yeah, it was just for the dollar amount. So that my motion is to approve the dollar amounts that I said for these change order requests. And I'll just take care of that. Are they okay? okay with it? 2505? Yes, that that's what they <clears throat> that's what they sent back was the, the corrected amount. So I just thought these two thermostats would have been caught on the initial when they walked through, looked at it initially, because isn't that what all the money was for? Was to change the air quality and the sheriff's office? Um, yeah, the, I don't know how to answer that. So I'm, I'm, ass, I'm assuming that they, they didn't know that that room needed to be split in order to heat and cool at the same time. Um, 
that's the only thing I can, I guess the only way I can answer that. Didn't know the problem existed until after it was installed. Sure. Oh, motion second. Then I will call, please. Roll call, Sydney. Um, yeah, she's still there. Okay, we'll come back. Hi. 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 Mark. Hi. Jim. Hi. Mike. Hi. Motion passes. Number 11, meetings attended. Um, I had none. Sydney? I had none. Sydney, I got a, a chat from somebody that said the sound is very choppy. Is, is it choppy on your end also? It is. Okay. It is very choppy. I agree. It's pretty hard to hear you guys this morning. Thank you. I've tried it on two different phones and it was the same on both of them. I got the same reception on both phones. Thank you. Yeah. Well, it's actually to be better. Other than that, uh, meeting adjourned at 847. Thank you.